clickbait title, let's talk about what I got wrong and why. Did I get something wrong? Yes, I got something wrong. Uh, I have been for a couple of years now suggesting to you that Donald Trump is an authoritarian surrounded by fascists. But I was wrong. Donald Trump is also a fascist. Who knew? Uh, Donald Trump suggests undocumented immigrants who commit murder have bad genes. It's in their blood. It's the way they're born. They're just born different, you guys. They're just born wrong. So let's get some eugenics because that's the th one thing that we didn't have in this election year yet. Eugenics, everybody. That's where we are. One side is unironically suggesting that you're born a murderer and you have bad genes. And, it, and let's let's listen to him say it. Hello, human. It is me, Kanuch. I need you to press the subscribe button. I have to feed my many AI babies. I mean, we got it on video, so that this is going to sink him, right? Right? This is going to be the thing that ruins him? She wants to go into government housing. She wants to go into government feeding. She wants to feed. Government housing and government feeding. He's been listening. You guys, to I told you. I told you he's been watching my streams. I told you this. You thought I was crazy. You thought I was just, yeah, well, no, you're just being silly. But when I talk about decommodifying housing, he misunderstands it. Okay? Donnie, you're, Donald Junebug Trump, listen. I know you're watching. When I talk about dis, uh, decommodifying housing, you don't understand it. Your brain too small. Don't work. You can't comprehend the complicated uh, process I'm suggesting. And then when I talk about decommodifying food or something like that, he thinks it's government food. She wants to do government housing, government food. That's what she wants. So he's 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 been listening to me, but he's too small brained to comprehend. So let's start this over and listen to what he had to say. She wants to go into government housing. She wants to go into government feeding. She wants to feed people. Uh, she wants to feed people governmentally. She wants she wants to go into a communist party type system. When you look at the things that she proposes, they're so far off. She has no clue. How about allowing people to come through an open border, not, uh, 13,000 of which were murderers, many of them murdered far more than one person, and they're now happily living in the United States. You know, now a murderer, I believe this, it's in their genes. It's and we got a lot of bad genes in our country right now. They left. They had 400. It's in their genes, and we got a lot of bad genes in our country right now. What are we going to do? We're going to round up all those bad genes. We're going to put them on a train, and we're going to send them to a camp. <sighs> this is what I was wrong about. This is why I made the title the way, the clickbait title that I made. I used to say that Donald Trump was an authoritarian surrounded by fascists. That he wasn't ideologically fascist. He just wants what he wants, and when he wants it, and the way he wants it, and he's just thinks that he's right all the time and so he should be in charge and he's an authoritarian so he is an authoritarian but now we've gotten into the eugenics part of the 2024 election and it's going exactly the way i expected it to honestly donald trump finally slips up and tells you that he's a eugenicist that he thinks that these things are in a person's genes and that we've got a lot of bad genes in our country <laughs> Uh, Jenkos and the Levi's. Well, the Levi's are not bad jeans. The Levi's are good. I think I'm wearing Levi's right now. Uh, the Jenkos, uh, no one knows what Jenkos are. The point of my clickbait title tonight was to say that I thought he was an authoritarian, but now he's a fascist. He's passed the, he's passed the bar, man. He has gone beyond. Does it matter? No. No, it does not matter. His fans don't care. They agree with him. They absolutely are on board for the thing he's going to be pushing right there, which is the people with this bloodline don't belong on this soil. You see, bad genes in our country, bad blood on our soil. He is making Nazi, fascist, blood and soil arguments. And I didn't think he had it in him. Honestly, I didn't think he did. I thought he was a just an authoritarian and he, he was just surrounded by all these opportunists like uh, Stephen Miller and Bannon like Bannon Bannon's a uh, white nationalist for sure Tucker Carlson and all those kinds of guys they, they're white nationalists they're Christian nationalists they want a country of white Christian straight people and if you're not those things they don't want you here they want you out they want you hidden they want you in a closet they want you to leave because that is the way they would like the country to be structured because it makes them 
feel good. They feel like there will be less crime because of that. Because they feel like they are the enlightened people who never do anything wrong. Now, none of that's true, and it doesn't make any sense, and it's anti-American, but they don't care. Let's read what he had to say. On Monday, uh, Trump suggested undocumented immigrants who commit murder have bad genes, in the latest example of former president using dehumanizing rhetoric as he tries to stoke fears about those in the country illegally. On a radio interview with Hugh Hewitt, um, he again distorted statistics on immigration and crime. That whole 13,000 uh, murderers, it's not real. He falsely claimed she was allowing people to come through an open border, 13,000 of which were murderers. How does he know that? Where does he get these numbers? You know, a murder. I believe this. It's in their genes, and we got a lot of bad genes in our country right now. Uh, CNN has reached out to Trump campaign for comment, but they don't care about CNN, so they don't give a shit. And anybody who's watching CNN doesn't give a shit either. If you're a Trump fan, you don't watch CNN. God, no. They'll tell you things that might be true. It was the latest instance of uh, Trump using dehum dehumanizing and disparaging rhetoric as he targets undocumented immigrants and vows mass deportations if he's reelected. Trump has made curbing illegal immigration a central part of his 2024 campaign messaging and regular regularly uses inflammatory and degrading language when describing undocumented immigrants. Pressing the thumbs up button will release chemicals in your human brain that will make you feel. We've jumped to the next level. I mean, he was always anti-immigrant, but it was the illegal kind. But then we, it turns out the ones that are in Springfield, Ohio are legal immigrants, but he wants them out too, because their skin is the wrong color. That's why. He makes up lies about them and he doesn't care. Doesn't matter. And his fans cheer him on. They talk a big game about him and they create memes and they just go on online and they just feed fake information to each other, vomiting, regurgitating fake information into each other's faces all day long. I don't know if you've ever been on Twitter. You shouldn't. It's awful. But that's all they do. They just puke fake news into each other's faces all day long. And then when one of them adds a little bit of spice about Haitians eating cats. They all love it and they all just regurgitate it back and forth into each other's faces again. It's it's disturbing. I am the algorithm. Click on this video to make me happy. You wouldn't like me when I am angry.